Here's an alternative to mounting the gray Hoverman element. Here I have my insulators I normally use. I cut these out of PVC, PVC lumber, and they work out very well. I attach them to aluminum, and I do this for strength. I do it for strength, and it's the way my retail antennas are, are, are made. Now, you don't have to do that. You can get a section of PVC lumber, just like I use for the insulators. Cut it to about 24 inches. Once you make up your Hoverman element, come down about 2 inches, make a line, make a mark, attach it. Come down 10 inches, make a line, attach the centerpiece. Come down 10 more inches, make a line, attach the bottom piece. Do that for both sides, and you've got a gray Hoverman antenna. Take a bell in or a transformer, mount it in the middle. You always feed from the center, and uh, you got a Hoverman. Don't use an eight foot piece of PVC. It's, uh, it's, it's very bouncy. It, 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 it has no strength on its own. If you use a 24 inch piece, it's, it remains pretty, pretty stable. You know, it doesn't flop around. Now you put a washer where you mount. It keeps it from sinking in. The PVC, the cellular PVC material is relatively soft. It's hard, but it's relatively soft. And it's it it'll last forever out in the sun, the rain, the wind. And then when you finish it all up, you just take and I use these. That's a, a conduit hanger. Screw that into the back and mount it on a pole or a mast or whatever you have. This is just an alternative. You can take your finely bent Hoverman element. Now if you make the secure bends, like I say, the eyelet bend, that's, that's good. But if you just decide to make right angle bends, that's fine too. Now, I don't want to I don't want to build this one here. I need this piece for something I'm for a project. Uh, it's an inch and a half. If it was two inches, that's better because you do need to have space between your your mounts here, where you mount your uh, where you attach your your elements. So you just need a you need to come in about a oh three eighths of an inch, and you can just screw that down. But that's a, that's a quick and easy method, and uh, that'll make a great gray Hoverman. Don't use wood. Wood absorbs water. It'll short your antenna out, giving you all kind of problems. You won't be able to figure it out when it's just moisture in the wood, shorting everything out. Use the PVC, and this is flat PVC, so you don't have to worry about trying to build on a pipe. My God, that's uh, building something flat. Give it a try. It's a good method.